How to use a Braille display with the Apple Watch. WatchOS 7.2 required. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Merry Christmas, everybody, and a Happy New Year. Sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I've just been really busy. You'll get more videos soon. Be on the lookout. Phone, podcast. Hi, so, tap open. um, as you may know, I don't have the best recording tools, so I'm just using a screen recorder on my iPhone, and I am near a heater, so I... I'm going to move away from the heater right now so that we don't get a lot of background noise. So the first thing you want to do... Doc. Messages. Group mail. No one read emails. Incognito search. Voice search. Settings. Button. Lens search. Search. Button. My water. Bedtime. I will click Edit mode. Clock. Ten th settings. Settings. Double tap to open. I will double tap on settings. Settings. Then you're going to want to click... Search. Search. Dictate. Button. Right Raise the period. Airplane mode. Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. Uh, Cellular. General. Button. Personal hotspot. Notifications. Sounds and haptic. Do not disturb. Screen time. General. Button. Double tap on that. About. Button. Software update. Then flick into your software update, and you want to make sure button. your phone says iOS 14.3. .3. Now, if it doesn't, you would hear um, something along the lines of uh, iOS 14.3 Apple Incorporated install button, something like that. You are just going to go ahead and install that and wait till the update is done. Now, I will say that VoiceOver does not say anything during the update process, so don't think, oh no, it broke my phone. It will come on as soon as the um, update is finished. Now, once you've done that, plop your watch on the charger. Settings. Go ahead and open watch. Health, app store, notes, weather, watch, to photography, it. watch. And hold on, I will be right back. Watch, all watches, button. Face gallery, tab, two or three. Okay, so, Sorry about that. Um, I had to take a break, but I am back, and we are going to start where we left off. So once you're in your watch app, you're going to flick till you hear general. Doc, button. And by the way, if the speed on this is too fast, you can go and slow it down in the YouTube settings. Um, so general. Button. I'm just going to flick until I hear general, and then I'm going to double tap on it. About button. And then software I will button. flick until I hear software update, and I will double tap on that. In progress. And you're going to check your software version. Apple Watch will automatically install updates. Um, you should hear. Watch OS 7.2. Watch OS 7.2, um, and that's perfect. That's what you should be on. But if you're not, go ahead and plop your watch on the charger, and you will see something on the lines of Watch OS 7.2, Apple Incorporated, um... Pretty much similar to uh, what you see on the phone, except it'll say install to watch button instead of the install button. So you're going to go ahead and install that onto your watch. And yeah, so after you have done that, I'm just going to general, general, quickly back flick back here. Back. About Grace, Grace's Apple Watch. Grace's Apple Watch. You, All right, so you're gonna flick till you Doc, hear button. accessibility. General button. Cellular button. Display and brightness button. Accessibility button. Double Vision. tap Heading. on accessibility. Voiceover on button. Flick to hear voiceover and double tap on that. Siri voice on. Uh, flick when this is on. Until voiceover will use your current Siri voice. Speak hints on. Digital crown navigation off. Speak on restrays off. Screen curtain off. Screen curtain turns the screen off. Screen curtain. Speak on digital curtain. Speak hints when this is on. Siri voice braille button haptics braille. There button. we go. It's it's after haptics. It's Braille, so double tap on Braille that. Output. Contracted button. Uh, this is where you can set your settings. So Braille output contracted. Braille input contracted. Button. Braille input contracted. Word wrap on. Word wrap double tap the toggle on. Setting. I've changed all these. Of alert course. display duration for S. Uh, a light alert display duration. This basically means if a message pops up on your watch, how long that will stay on the display. I have that set to four seconds. The default is three seconds. Braille tables button. Braille tables is where you can choose like if you want it contracted or UEB or Australian or whatever. And tab bar. Select that's my watch. It tab one of three. on the iPhone. So now it's time to move over to the watch. Okay, so we have switched from the phone to the watch and there's just a few things to note. One, I've connected my watch to a Bluetooth speaker for you to hear it better. And two, 
I am using a Braille Sense Polaris for the Braille display demonstration. Okay, so now if you have a regular Braille display, you're just going to want to turn it on and make sure it's on the Bluetooth mode. Now, if you have something like a Braille Sense Polaris or a Braille Note Touch or something like that, you're just going to go to your terminal mode, which is also called terminal for screen reader, and you're going to make sure it is on Bluetooth. Okay, so now the first thing you want to do on the watch um, 402 PM is, and 48 seconds. Actually, I'm going to turn on terminal mode first. Nope, terminal mode status box. There we go. So you're just going to get to settings. It doesn't matter how you do it. Thursday, December 24th. Um, settings. Just settings. any way settings. is good. Grace to degree. So you're general. just going to go. Airplane mode. Cellular. You're just going to flick until you hear accessibility. Display app view. Accessibility. Double tap Vision. on it. Heading. Zoom. Off. Voiceover. Flick um. until you hear voiceover and double tap on that. Voiceover. Switch button. Voiceover. Switch button. You're going to leave voiceover, voiceover on. Speaking rate. 55% voiceover it's lost. It's all about the voiceover. Siri VoIP. When this is off Braille. Now you're going to double tap on Braille. Choose a Braille display. Heading. And there it is. It's the choose a Braille display heading. Braille sensor 3699. That's not connected. My Braille display. Um, if you see more than one Braille display, just make sure you're connecting to the right one. Because that could be weird if you don't. So I'm just going to double tap on that. Braille. Oops. Set up for Google Glass. It's on 99. Not connected. Yeah. Uh, Bluetooth speaker. Are, are you doing all right? <laughs> huh. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that, but. Output. Um, control. Braille. There it goes. So that doo means it is connected. And I'm just going to press the home button. Oh, stops. Now you can control the watch completely with the Braille display. You can space with dot four to go forward. Mother. Space with dot one to go back, stops. and I am on the stocks application, and it it I see S T O C K S on the Braille display, and you would be contracted because you can set your Braille preferences, and this is also especially great for the deaf blind for them to navigate their Apple Watch. Um, so you can do commands like space with H to go back to the watch face and watch home face screen. Watch face, 4 p.m. and 4 home. Stop. You can do commands like space with F to find and apps. Enter text. A, C, T, A, V, A, T, Y. It is very responsive. Uh, no, just no, I just found. Um, cycle tracking. <laughs> Sorry about that. It, um, that didn't Enter search text. There we go. A T A V I T Y. There we go. No, I don't found. Well, it's okay. It's not finding activity, but it usually works. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Find feet remote. So settings. One note. It's probably user error because it works most of the time. Photos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open an app. News for you. Messages. Um. Activity. Activity. There it is. So to enter an app or double tap on something is three. Dot three dot six and the space bar. Activity. And it opens fine. And again, Rings. everything is Moving. on the Braille display. Eleven percent. Exercising. Zero percent. And I can standing. Fourteen percent. I can use my Braille display keys to navigate. I didn't sleep in that late. I just forgot to put my watch on today. And you can do basically all of that. I haven't figured out how to access Siri with it. But that's okay. Home. Activity. Now, the last thing I will show you is that you can write with this Braille display mode. Like, for example, Siri, open Google Keep. That's the app I use for note taking. Loading. So I'm just going to flick till keep, uh, keep new notes. Um, Other. The reason no, I'm button. using the watch right now is because I don't know how to 3D press, but I'm sure there's a way. So I'm just going to double tap on new note. Cancel. Button. Now I'm going to go back to the Braille spread, and you're going to see your regular options, scribble, scribble button, dictate, dictate button, emoji, emoji button, picker, but at the top, cancel, of course, button, is Braille, button, Braille, because that only shows up when you have a Braille display connected. So I'm going to do double Braille, tap on that field, with using cancel, button, um, so button, one thing field, you do want to know is is dot six. You, it's the, fin the cursors are a little finicky, but it mostly works. I can type slow. Cap H, E, L, L, O, comma, medium, space, M, Y, space, dot five, N, space, I, S, space, dot six, cap G, R, A, C, E, period, Or I can type space, it my normal speed, which is really fast. 
H uh, space what space B space oops U space B or L space P A P L A what space O A T space P L space the A T space watch as you see uh my voiceover can't really keep up with how fast I am typing but it is writing perfectly it says Braille display on the Apple Watch, which is some of the stuff I have typed. I can use my scroll buttons to scroll up. Hello, my name is Grace. I am showing you the, and then scroll down, Braille display on the Apple Watch, which is what I've written on the Apple Watch. So, done. Um, I can just double tap on done. Done. That using button. the double tap command on the Braille display. My name is Grace. I'm showing you the Braille display on the Apple Watch. That button. And... It is now a note in Google Keep. So it, it's and not just Keep, it works anywhere. Like I can go to oh, activity, um, walkie talkie, calculator, that's a good app. Uh, mail, enter search text, M, comma, P, oops, A, E, M, M, A, O, F, no, I don't found. All right. <laughs> Open mail. Sorry there. Load I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm use Siri. It's a little easier. Use. So, oops. Back oh, off there. So I can I double tap on new the message. new oh, message now. button with space with dots three six. New message. New message. Heading. And recipients. Add recipients. Add recipients. Button. I'm gonna go ahead and double tap on add Cancel. contact. Button. Braille. Button. Um, add contact. Dictate. But add contact. So this one I'm gonna add just Cancel. Add. A. Abby. Amanda B. Ellie. Braille. C. Carrie. D. Grace. My sister. D. Grace. Daddy. Daddy. I'm gonna use Daddy. So Daddy. space with three six on that button. Daddy. John to period home. Uh so I'm not gonna let it John read Deary. out John add subject. Add message the thing Deary. because button. no need to accidentally make dad get a bunch of emails. So I'm gonna add the subject, add subject. line as button. Braille button. I'm gonna use Braille of course. Braille text field. Hello. E -E -L -L -O. Done. Button. And I'll hit double tap on done. New message. Heading. Recipient. Hello. Button. Message content. Create message. Button. And message I'll just content. Write. Cancel. Button. Braille. Button. Scribble. I'll use Update Braille. One minute. Course. Braille. Text field. Is it cancel? Dot six. This is, is a, a quick test. test. Test dot six. Have a, a great <laughs> day. Yeah. Period. So. Done. Then button. I will double tap done. using the Braille New command message. on done. Yeah. Recipients. Yeah, hello. Message hot sent. Cancel. Button. Then I will send. double tap button. on send. Sending. Back button. It says sending. Back button. And uh, the Apple Watch really doesn't tell you when it sends, but I think it's probably new message. Sending. Back button. Well, it's still sending. New message. Button. Unreal. Okay, so it Online. is sending. Status bar item. And you can also get Current to the time. status bar by doing a space with dots one, two, and three. So as you see, Braille works really well on the Apple Watch, and to turn the Braille off, just turn off your Braille display. And that has been a demo of using Braille on the Apple Watch. Updated two minutes it ago. It works on the Apple Watch Series 3, 4, 5, 6, and SE.